One of the surprising announcements from NVIDIA this week is that they're partnering with General Motors to bring GM's autonomous driving products to market. Now, GM has long invested in their cruise division. That was now acquired, shut down the actual robo-taxi business they were, that they were trying to build. They're going to be putting that autonomous technology into their personal vehicles. So that's going to be starting to roll out to more and more vehicles. They have Super Cruise right now. There's supposedly going to be level three and level four autonomy features in the future. That's now looks like it's going to be built on NVIDIA chips. And this was something that was pretty surprising in NVIDIA's announcements. But let's go through exactly what this means, because this has an impact on NVIDIA. Yes, the auto business is a very small part of their business, but obviously a pretty big focus given all of the robotics and autonomy that they've been spending a lot of time and money on. It has an impact on General Motors. And then another company that I'm invested in, Mobileye, is another company in the autonomy space. So where does everybody fit in this? I'm going to try to dig through that and what we know today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. Let's first go to the announcement from NVIDIA, General Motors and NVIDIA collaborating on, on AI for next generation vehicle experience and manufacturing. There's a few pieces to this and autonomy is the thing that I'm going to focus on most here, but there's a couple of other pieces. The companies are going to work together to build custom AI systems using NVIDIA accelerated compute platforms for optimizing GM's factory planning and robotics. So this is going to be more the operations of General Motors. And is there going to be more autonomy in robotics? Yes, there's a ton of robots already in auto manufacturing, but is this going to kind of push that to another level? That would maybe be the indication here. The bigger piece that I'm focused on is NVIDIA Drive AGX is going to be their in-vehicle hardware for future advanced driver assist systems and in-cabin enhanced safety driving experiences. So what in the world is that? This is the platform that NVIDIA is building for their for autonomous vehicles. And they they are selling the chips and then what they call Drive OS. This is another piece that they said that General Motors is going to be using. is an automotive operating system developed with industry standard safety and security methodologies certified by globally renowned autified organizations. Basically, it's an operating system for auto companies to actually build on top of. So you can take in all of the sensor information. This is going to be the inputs into the autonomous driving system. You have the compute with the NVIDIA chips and then the software stack that actually helps you build your autonomous driving system. So that's the idea there is that General Motors is going to lean on NVIDIA for the chips and kind of the software infrastructure. And then GM is going to be the manufacturer. They're going to put everything together. They're ultimately going to have to build the software. They're going to be like a game developer. They're going to have to actually build the game itself or the autonomous driving system. But they've done a lot of that work with their cruise division. So this should put them in a pretty good position to build out their autonomous vision and then start to move towards, we got some level two autonomy right now, moving towards level three and level four autonomy in the future. And again, the platform, you start to know what the chips are going to be, what the software infrastructure is going to be. And that's where they're building on top of NVIDIA. Toyota is the other company that that was announced a few months ago that Toyota is also going to be building their autonomous driving system on top of NVIDIA chips as well. So this is an interesting place. NVIDIA is the chip company. They're building a lot of the infrastructure and software infrastructure for these companies to build their autonomous business on top of. What are the other options? The other major option in this industry is Mobileye. Mobileye is going to be another chip company, but it's going to be much more focused on the driving business. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So you can see some of their products here, advanced driver assist systems, eyes on, hands on. So there's going to be level two autonomy. That's going to be seven to $800. Now we don't know exactly how much these NVIDIA chips have, are going to cost, but one of the things that Mobilize CEO said recently is that, you know, they're selling a system that the entire system itself is going to be four, five, six thousand $6,000 for chauffeur for a complete eyes off system. Whereas the NVIDIA chip that's powering these, these vehicles may cost about that much. So it's something there to keep an eye on from a cost perspective, because once we get to the point where autonomy is fully built out now, once your safety level is kind of good enough, you can get to a million miles without having an incident. Now we're going to have to look at how much do these cost? How much are people actually willing to pay extra 
to get fully autonomous capabilities in their vehicles. It's not going to be $10,000, but is it going to be $3,000, $4,000? These numbers are going to be potentially, again, we don't know exactly what the cost of the NVIDIA system is and what GM is going to end up charging, but that would be the argument for a company like Mobileye that's going to be more specialized building chips specifically for autonomous driving, whereas NVIDIA is building a much more generalizable solution. But look at these options that they have. This is a single camera or potentially a couple of cameras and sensors, seven to $800 for this surround ADAS. Supervision, kind of the next level up, a couple thousand dollars in the Supervision 71, so the next generation. Fewer chips in this and a more powerful chip is going to be twelve to $1,900. And then chauffeur, like I said before, between $4,000 and $5,000 once they get to their CH72 product. Drive is going to be a little bit more expensive. That's going to be the fully autonomous system, so more like a Waymo. But we're not quite there yet with launching that into, into, into vehicles. And what Mobileye is saying is, hey, we're going to sell you a modular solution, just like they do with ADAS today. You can just plug us in, plug, your, plug in your software, pro, plug in the parameters you want to do. Do you want to have the vehicle drive more like a Buick is maybe driven or drive more like a BMW? So how does that autonomous system work? It's going to update software over the air. So there's going to be software and services that are involved in this. So a little bit different business model than NVIDIA. But what I think is interesting here is these companies, all of these automakers are starting to make their decisions of what are they going to build on top of and what suppliers are, are they going to be working with and relying on. GM has basically said, we're going to be building a lot of this ourselves, but we need the chips. We're not going to be a chip design company. So who are we going to look to for that? Well, we're going to look to NVIDIA for that. We're going to use some of their systems, maybe help us be a little bit more efficient in the factory, the way that we're operating, bring in some robotics potentially in the future. Talked about building digital twins as well. So maybe that's a good platform for them to build on top of. But is another company make, going to make another decision and say, you know what? We don't want to be a company that's building an autonomous driving system. We just want to buy that off the shelf from a company like Mobileye. So these are going to be different business models that are working out in the autonomous driving business. Something to watch because NVIDIA has been a player in autonomous driving for a very long time, but it's very, very small business for them. And they have not been the company that has powered a lot of the companies that have gotten to full autonomy. But is that going to be something that's going to change in the future? Are they going to be a little less power hungry? That's another thing you have to start thinking about. NVIDIA chips are known for running very hot, using a lot of energy. Is that going to change in the future with their Blackwell architecture, which is going to be powering a lot of these chips? Are they going to be that much more efficient? We don't really know quite yet, but, but the groundwork is being laid for the next generation of autonomy. So really interesting time in the space. Let me know what you think about GM choosing NVIDIA as their partner in autonomy. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.